Hello, it's the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. The word of the week this week is Encounter. My name is Tom and this is Extraordinary. So good morning, welcome back, especially if it's your first full week at school. I know in Leicester you've been back a while, but for us it's our first full week with the group as well. We've got our first group coming up on Monday, super exciting. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you're welcome and we're here together in prayer. And let's start that prayer with the sign that God gives us that reminds us we're all part of the body of Christ in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Sunday's Gospel this week, we hear a really famous line. Jesus says, take up your cross and follow me if you want to be my disciple. He says, look, following me is not always going to be easy. It's going to actually be a bit difficult sometimes. Sorry. And that's a bit of a shocking message, really, because sometimes we often, and quite rightly, hear all these wonderful, wonderful messages about what it means to be a disciple. But Jesus never pretends that it's going to be easy all the time. In fact, sometimes he reminds us that actually it's in those hard times that we'll really see Christ and really be Christ. And that's what I think encounter tells us this week. The word encounter means an unexpected meeting. Now, that tells us that actually Christ is often to be found, not in the places we expect to, like in Mass or in the Eucharist, because we know Christ is present there. But Christ can be in places that we don't expect to meet him as well. And often when we meet him there, that encounter can be the first step to really getting to know him and really feeling his love in our lives. Think about some of the really difficult situations in our world at the moment. The the war in Ukraine, some of the terrible floods in Pakistan. That might not be a place you'd expect to see the love of Christ. And yet on the ground right now, there are people helping, people loving, people serving. They've picked up their cross and they're doing something difficult because they're bringing love to people in need. They're providing an encounter and people are encountering Christ in that really unexpected place because they're finding love in their moment of need. That's our job this week, to think about how we can help other people encounter Christ by bringing love to their moment of need. I want you to close your eyes and think about someone who is in need at the moment. Maybe someone in your family, someone in your school, someone in your community. Think about someone who you know is in need of something. It might just be in need of a hug or in need of a friend, but whatever that need is, just hold it in your mind and in your heart right now. We are called to bring love to that situation, to be love in that situation. And you might not realise it, but by doing so, what that will mean is that person has the opportunity to encounter Christ in a really unexpected way. And what you will find is when you start doing stuff like helping people, like reaching out to those people in need, you will start meeting Christ in really unexpected ways. Encounters are really powerful things, really special things, because they're real, meaningful experiences of love. We're going to pray the prayer that we we pray that reminds us that we're one body, one family, that we should be looking out for each other. A prayer that reminds us that we've always got one Father, the Our Father. But in that prayer, it talks about thy kingdom come. It talks about the idea that we're trying to make all those amazing things that heaven, we think heaven is about, real on earth. And that's what we need to do. That's what we need to find, ways of bringing love to places where there isn't. Ways of making life on earth reflect life here in heaven. So as we pray that prayer, I want you to think about what your mission is going to be. Because your mission is going to be to think about that person in need and to bring some love to their lives. However you think best. And maybe ask in this prayer for God to inspire you the best way to bring love to that person in need. Let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now your mission then, you know what it is, to find that person in need and to bring some love into that moment and to create an opportunity for encounter. I'm really excited to see what you guys will do because what you will do is what you do all the time. You will live your faith and share your faith in a way amazingly powerful and profound and you'll do wonderful things you'll change lives that's what we're called to do that's your mission today and that's what i know each and every one of you has an opportunity to do by finding and bringing love to someone who is in need let's remind ourselves of that image that god gave us of carrying the cross of doing something difficult for somebody else let's remind ourselves of that image by offering all our prayers to him in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen 
this year. I sincerely hope we get to encounter you guys here at the Briars or out in your schools. We can't wait to see you guys. Hopefully you will have lots of unexpected places to bring love, to be love and to meet Christ. But a really easy way of spotting what we need to do is just look for those places in our world where there is a need. Look for someone who is struggling, who is suffering. Look for places where things are maybe a bit difficult and just go into that place, go into that situation and be loving. That's how we provide opportunities for encounter and that's how we live our faith. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. Don't forget to visit our website. Don't forget to come up to the Briars really soon. And don't forget to join us this time next week. We'll see you soon.